Hey, this is Coach Carlo. Today I want to talk about attracting money. A lot of times, whether it be in Facebook or on the YouTube channel, people inquire, has anybody used these principles to attract millions or billions into their lives? Now, most people that are attracting money into their lives at that magnitude don't wish to put themselves out on Front Street. I want to share with you a story. Some years back, I was... I love books, and if you look through my library, you see that I have a ton of books in my library. And I had purchased this book off of Amazon, and when I was looking through the book, I can't even remember the title of the book, I found in it a check stub, more than $100,000 that somebody had deposited into their bank account. And at that moment, I did not have that kind of money, but I thought to myself, man, it sure would be nice to be able to deposit $100,000 into my checking account and have access to that kind of money. And I didn't give much thought to it, but then I was watching this program and the program had this lady that was a, a Christian and she was doing some missionary work on her land. She would have people come in and they would pet the animals and so forth. And she had talked about, she did not have the money uh, to purchase this land. And the land was uh, pretty expensive, you know, but she didn't have the money. And she began visualizing having this money the money to purchase the land and so forth. And she said over a course of time, some uh, events took place and she manifested this money. And I said, if it will work for her, then perhaps it'll work for me. And so I started seeing myself being able to deposit $100,000 into my checking account. But the other thing I started doing, I started reading a book by a man by the name of Wallace D. Wattles. And the book was called The Science of Getting Rich. All of this allowed me to start getting into the state and being able to deposit that $100,000 into my checking account. And about 24 months later, I was depositing that $100,000 into my checking account. Now, people say, well, do you know anybody that's using the law to manifest multiple millions or millions of dollars or even billions of dollars? And I'll say this, that most people that manifest multiple millions of dollars, if not all, especially billions of dollars, use the law of attraction. Some would say the law of assumption. It doesn't matter what you call the name. But understand, you have to get into a vibrational state of being able to attract this kind of money. Oprah Winfrey has told her story how she uses the law of attraction. Denzel Washington has told many stories about how he uses the law of attraction. Jim Carrey talks about when he was broke, busted, and disgusted, and he and his father was driving around, and he was taking janitorial jobs, and he wanted to be this great actor in Hollywood that he wrote himself a check for $10 million, and he carried that check with him everywhere. And unfortunately, he lost his father one of his first big contracts came up for a movie and they paid him $10 million. And that $10 million check that Jim Carrey wrote, he put it into his father's coffin. Reason being because his father believed in him and he knew that Jim was going to be great. So when you ask, does anybody use the law of manifestation, the law of attraction, the law of assumption to manifest millions and billions of dollars, most people that are manifesting that kind of money, if you talk to the Kardashians, if you talk to Kanye West, if you talk to Jay-Z, if you talk to any of these people, they will tell you that they use their mind. They start seeing in their minds first manifesting money. Now, many of you would say, well, what am I doing wrong? It's not enough to visualize it in your mind. You got to begin living these principles out. You have to become being the person that can attract a million dollars were for service. Bob Proctor started reading Think and Grow Rich and Wallace D. Waters, The Science of Getting Rich. But he didn't stop there. He started living the life. He took his janitorial business and made it a multi-million dollar business. Then he started speaking about the principles that he learned. Jim Rowan, at the age of 27, was broke, busted, and disgusted. And he met a man by the name of Earl Schoff. And Mr. Schoff asked Jim, how is it that you are 27 years old and you've accumulated no wealth, but you've accumulated all this debt at 27 years old. And Jim started pondering what Mr. Schof was telling him. But Mr. Schof also used the law of attraction because his mentor used the law of attraction. And so 
you will go back and find that many people are using these principles. And like I said, don't get caught up in the name, whether it be the law of attraction, the law of assumption. Some will tell you, what, you know, the law of attraction doesn't work. It all works if you work it. It's like weight loss programs. Some will use Atkins. Some will use Jenny Craig. Some will use Weight Watchers. They all work if you work them. The law of attraction, the law of assumption, you know, whatever principles you're using, whether you're using Neville's or if you're using Dr. Joseph Murphy's, all of them works if you work them. They're really all saying the same thing. Now, creators, if you don't learn how to manage that million dollars, you're going to lose it. A million dollars or several million dollars really isn't a lot of money in today's economy. If you don't manage it, it's going to create wings and fly away. Now, I've created millions of dollars in my corporate endeavors, but I've also had ventures that have turned into million dollar ventures. I don't show you my house. I don't show you my cars, you know, as a means to brag or to boast of what it is that we have. There's enough people out there doing that. Apostle Paul talks about the super apostles. Now, why did he start talking about the super apostles? He talked about the super apostles because everybody was comparing the Apostle Paul with these other apostles. And Apostle Paul said, listen, you know, bear with me for a moment because now I'm going to give you my resume. And he broke down, you know, I've been shipwrecked. You know, I've been thrown in a cage with lions. I've been starved. I've been through this. I've been through that. I'm not any least than any of the other apostles. Many people are teaching these principles and they're telling you how to make money and so forth. But the truth of the matter is many of them haven't made the money prior to them teaching these principles. And there's nothing wrong with a person that's teaching these principles that turns into a millionaire. If that's what they do and if they're adding value, then they should get paid for it. So I'm not discounting that. But I can tell you that I'm not just speaking these principles as I tell you week after week. The proof is in the pudding, you know, so I can show you a check stub for at least a million dollars. Money comes to those who occupy the state of money. If you want more money and if the only thing you want to do is just go into the silence, you're probably not going to make the kind of money that you desire. But if you can provide a service, if you can give the world back something, because see, this is what the super rich are doing. They're giving back. Nobody wants to hear doing the work. Everybody wants to, you know, be able to just get in state and, you know, get into a uh, meditative posture and magically money comes. It says give and it shall be given to you. Press down, shaking together, running over. Will men, women pour into your bosom or into your possession? So how do you give? You give of your service. You give of your time. What is it that you have creators that you can give away that others will be blessed by because see that's how the millionaires and the billionaires turn into millionaires and billionaires first they start off with a vision first they have a dream then they begin visualizing people buying their services buying their products Neville Goddard's family became rich because Victor had a vision his brother had a vision for something greater through service he started off in a small store that small store turned into multiple stores. Pretty soon it started off into a chain of stores throughout the islands. And he brought in products, he shipped out products. My whole point is, you can get wealthy, but there has to be an exchange. If you believe that you're just gonna be in a meditative posture and attract wealth and do nothing for that wealth, you're sadly mistaken. And anyone that's telling you that, the only one that's getting wealthy is the person telling you that. I'm just trying to be real with you. Ask yourself, what do I have in exchange? Somebody says, listen, I want a brand new house. But in manifesting a brand new house, there's upkeep. There's bills that have to be paid. Somebody says, I want a brand new car. And getting that brand new car, there's upkeep. There's management of that brand new car. There may be a car note on that brand new car. Make sure that when you manifest it, that you can take care of all of those things. Don't get this brand new Maserati, for example, and you can't put gas in it because you don't have the money to put gas in it. Make sure that when you're manifesting, that you become the person that can handle that thing that you're manifesting. Nobody tells you, the creators that are doing the law of attraction, the law of assumption, these people are some of the hardest working folks I know. 
Neville was one of the hardest working men that taught in his time. Dr. Joseph Murphy was a hard working man. These guys spoke time and time and time again. You know, being on the road, you know, 300 out of 365 days out of a year. That's a lot of work. So anybody that tells you that you can manifest these things, and let's say that they have a large following, you don't create a large following without putting in the work. And I'm not saying that to discourage you, but when I talk about effortless manifestation, what I'm talking about is that you're doing what it is that you love so it doesn't even seem like work. I can do a video such as this and it can seem like I'm working on it 15 minutes, but I could have been working on a video a half a day. But I love what it is that I'm doing. What I want for you is that you begin doing what it is that you love to do. And this is possible. But, you know, I just want you to understand if you're looking at manifesting money, first and foremost, you have to get into the state of a person who can manifest money. You got to dispel that lack, loss, and limitation mindset. You got to clothe yourself in a person that has something to offer the world in exchange for the money that they're going to give you. Nobody wants to talk about that. They just want to tell you that the only thing you have to do is go into the silence and believe that you can manifest money, but you have to become a money magnet. And you do that by offering products, knowledge, service. And as you offer that to the world and you become a blessing to the world, and no matter what it is that you're offering, money operates off of a medium of exchange. And when you understand that money operates from a medium of exchange, then you begin to exchange your life force, as I've talked about in other talks, with another's life force, and we call that medium of exchange money. A lot of times we say the proof is in the pudding. I can show you that it's possible to manifest over a million dollars worth of currency. And understand this, there's a whole bunch of people out there that's practicing and doing these principles that have a whole bunch more money and have made a whole bunch more money than I have. I just want you to see that it's possible to manifest a million dollars plus. And this is the proof in the pudding. This is a check that we manifested. And this is not a boast. This is just reality because see, some of you don't believe it unless you see it. And of course, you see that I've taken a lot of stuff out so that you can see basically, you know, that there was at least a million dollar check. Why do I show you that? Because week after week, I tell you these principles and a lot of you are wondering, is this guy living out what it is that he's talking about? I'm living out the principles and I want you to live out the principles because I know that they work. But if I tell you that there's work involved, that in having money, you got to be able to maintain money. I'm not just talking off of the top of my head. I'm talking from experience. I've made money. I've lost money. I know what it is to be broke. I know what it is to have abundance. You have to discover for yourself, but you're not going to discover it if you don't begin to understand how money works. And if you don't find some way to be able to benefit the world through a service that you provide, even if you win the money by buying a lottery ticket, because you're not going to have the tools to manage that money, unless you hire someone, you're going to lose that money. We know countless story after story of people who have won mega million lotteries and ended up broken just a few years. Don't be that story. Begin to operate and live from a state of abundance now. Begin to clothe yourself in a state of abundance. Be like Neville's brother Victor and begin to see in your mind's eye yourself owning that multiple million dollar business, conducting business in that multiple million dollar business. Victor did that for several years before the manifestation of that building came along for those who don't know the story. And when that manifestation came along, when that man approached Victor and said, listen, if I'm able to buy this building for you, would you be willing to pay me back 6% interest for the next 10 years? Victor said he was willing. But Victor had already stepped into the position of owning that building before he owned that building. Think about businesses that you want to create, that you want to own, and begin going through your head. Be like Tesla. Tesla could see the whole event in his mind's eye before he even created, you know, whatever it was that he was working on creating. He already saw it in his mind's eye. See your business in your mind's eye first. See yourself employing people. See yourself blessing people. See yourself traveling around the world. Whatever it is that you want, 
See yourself living the principles before you experience it. And what you're going to see is that the world's going to clothe itself around your ideal and begin to turn that ideal into reality. Remember this, creators, that only you can create your perfect world. Not God or man. Only you can create your perfect world. This is Coach DeCarlo saying have a great and abundant day.